Is there anyone coming? I'll just no. go for a boot break. Yeah. That's all right. Go for it. Oh, they're, wow. They're not great. We've really got to push yeah. them down. Yeah, that's fine. We'll head straight out. That's fine. Okay. All auto, all simple. Yeah. Nothing to worry about there. We're going to follow the same lines as before. A little bit slower. A little bit slower, yeah. Fantastic. Brakes nice and hard, off the brakes and then turn it in. <laughs> <Wow>. Yeah, <laughs> compared to the Bentley, it feels it's a bit different. It's a, it's a bit pants compared to the Bentley, but <laughs> it sounds fantastic. Oh, it sounds fantastic. It's great fun to drive. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Gorgeous, and start squeezing that power in. And lots of brakes. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Nice. That's all right. Yeah. Sometimes it is just a bit of help there because <laughs> they're hard brakes, but they're fine. one you need to actually feed the wheel around a little bit yeah that's fine it's uh, you're doing very well because your pace is quite high for this car people tend to come out and it and do about 30 mile an hour whole circuit but <laughs> but you actually got the brakes to work well there that was good you've really got to stamp on it oh you do stamp on them properly hard Good old drum brakes from the 60s, they are just... Yeah, drums all round. Yeah, drums all round. Wow. So, we keep talking about doing a disc conversion because it's not, not, not nice. <laughs> nice and tight over to the left, awesome. Brakes on the way in, off the brakes, turn it in. Go to the left of the tyres because yeah. we've got a Porsche behind us, he's got two honking great turbos. And I see a GTR in my mirror. We might need to stop in here, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. And weld your foot to the floor now. Feel the pure 1960s power. <laughs> it's not fast, it's so dramatic, but it's, it's, it's very dramatic. It's very American, is what it yeah. is. It's a lot of noise, not that much going. A lot of noise. Doesn't really go anywhere. Doesn't go around corners. Looks cool. So <laughs> you feel cool driving. That's it. Oh yeah. I mean, you've even got the leather jacket. You may as well be Steve McQueen at yeah. this point. That's it. <laughs> you've won. For the roll. <laughs> Fantastic. I've always got an eye on other cars on the circuit, yeah, and. I know, I know, and I've, I've noticed there's a certain Aston Martin that hasn't actually got any closer since we've oh, been really? out. Um, he's been overtaken by the GTR, the Porsche, the Viper. Yeah, but uh, that's what I've known from beating this. Well, he's, he's, I think he's pulled back into the pits now. But I think oh, we can okay. safely say the Mustang is faster than the Aston now. That's the, uh, that's that's what you can tell all your mates when you go home. You're faster than an Aston in a '68 Mustang. squirmy under braking I yeah. love this car it really moves around it's, oh it's uh, it's just it's brilliant fun it's, it's so 1960s it's unreal there you go go cool, over to that cone turn in are very good and your braking points are good it's very difficult to tell someone how to go faster in this because if you go yeah. faster you end up backwards so <laughs> it's so unforgiving yeah. <laughs> the response is pretty much instant. Oh, yeah. really good the yeah oh the, the brakes no 
nothing happens, but the throttle is not going sideways now. It's yeah. super weird. But I love it. Is it stopped? No, it's not. It's still running. We're good. Still going? Yeah. Sounds awesome. And I'm never sure if I prefer the sound of one of the V8s or the V10 in the Viper. than the Bentley yeah. because there's no weight not here so, so. Well, I say there's no weight it's just not as heavy yeah Um, there are other people that are 